Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to configure an export limit with any of our inverters that have a pilot monitoring card, like the Gen24, Toro or Verto. Now to configure an export limit, you need to pair the inverter with a Fronia smart meter or an approved third party smart meter. Now just note, this video relates to sites that have a single inverter with a pilot monitoring card. If you want to configure an export limit on sites that have multiple of these inverters, then I've put a link in the description below. I've also put in a link that'll show you how to pair a smart meter with any of these inverters. Okay, so there's two ways that you can configure the export limit. The first way is through the inverter's web interface or web UI, and the second way is through the commissioning wizard. To access the web UI or the commissioning wizard, you can head to the generic IP address 192.168.250.181 or you can use the Solar Start app. Either way, you'll need to be connected to the inverter's Wi-Fi access point with a smart device. I've put a link in the description below that shows you how to do this. All right, let's look at the first way, which is through the web UI. Once in the web UI, navigate to safety and grid regulations, then export limitation. Enter the total system size in watts, that's the total amount of DC that's connected to the inverter. Turn on power control, select the soft limit option, and then enter your export limit under maximum grid feed in power. Enter it as watts and not as a percentage. Please note that if you select the hard limit, the inverter will completely disconnect once the export limit has been reached. It's a type of protection setting. Therefore, we recommend using a soft limit unless specified by your service provider. If it's a three-phase inverter, you will have different options for export limitation. Usually, you would use total power limit, which is a net export limit. Another is called limit per phase, weakest phase, which is a per phase export limit. Similar settings can be applied, just note that the maximum grid feed-in power is the per phase limit. So if you have a one kilowatt per phase limit, enter it as 1000 watts. Simo Gen24 and Verto inverters have a third export limit option called limit per phase asymmetric generation. I've put another link in the description below which gives some more information on this setting. There's also an option to include a failsafe where the inverter power output is reduced to 0% if the inverter loses connection to the smart meter. If you don't need this, you can click save to complete this section. The final step is to check that you have the correct controlling priorities, which is done within the IO power management menu. Usually this would be set with export limitation as number one priority. All right, now let's look at the second way, which is through the commissioning wizard. Within the product section of the wizard, you will complete the steps as per normal, setting up the technician password, entering the system name, and so forth. Once you reach the export limitation section, you can set an export limit by following the same steps we showed you in the previous section of this video. Once you've completed all the steps, click next. All right, that's it. Now you know how to configure an export limit on any of our inverters that have a pilot card. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.